What's up, everybody? This is Laser Wolf 452 and I figure I'd do a short, simple video to root this phone. Yes, this is a brand new, spanking new phone, and it is the LG V10. I got this phone a few days ago, and it took me like 30 minutes to at least an hour to do some research to root this phone. And I also had other things to do on top of it. And it, it, it was kind of like really hard for me to find the route for this phone. But I had to do certain searches and all the whole nine yards to do it. So, yeah. For those people who want to be a smart mouth and, oh, let me Google that for you. The only time that joke is funny is that um, it points me to the direct post that I was looking for. So just to make everybody's life a lot easier, Laser Wolf has stepped up. And decided to show you guys how to root this phone. Shouldn't be that hard. So let's get right to it. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to root this phone. First, I'm going to prove it to you that it is rootable. What about phone software? 5.1.1. PS 990 11B. Modified. Super user. Going C cleaner. Root status. So I just want to show you guys that uh, this phone is rootable. And when I first got the phone, I'm lucky that. It came with lollipop, so I was like excited. No marshmallow for me, thank you. So let's get to it. All right, once you get the files installed, uh, not installed. I'm sorry. Once you get the files uh, downloaded, you'll have the rooted KDZ in case if you're below 11B, and you'll have the drivers. I will host the drivers because they were pain in the ass to find. Um, so let's get started. First, we're going to install the LG up. Install the LG up store, and then the DLL file. Extract the common folder onto your desktop. To get those three done, we're going to copy the common folder. Going in our computer. Drive C. If you're running a 32 bit, be underneath program files. 64 bit, program files x86. We're going to, I think I might have skipped it. LG Electronics, LG Up, Model, and we're going to paste the file in here. If it asks you to overwrite, just say yes. If it prompts you to give it permission, just say yes or continue. Now when you do that, we're going to take our VTANs and we're going to power it off. Make sure it's plugged in. Once you hit OK button, make sure your finger is on the up button. Just hold down the up button as soon as you hit OK. And you get that logo showing you that it's down, uh, in download mode. Once in download mode, go ahead and open up the LG Up tool. And you should see your device. Click on Upgrade. Click down here where it says Bin File. Browse. And look for your folder. Oh, not folder. Your image. If you're below 11B, Install uh, upgrade with that KDC file first, and then once you select your file, open. I already got it right here already. So if you're below 11B, just make sure it's selected upgrade. Go ahead and start it, and it will push you up to 11B update. Now after you do that, do the same process again. 
Make sure it's on upgrade. Find the rooted system taught. Open it. Make sure it's set on upgrade and press start. Once the program finishes, exit out of it and your phone will actually reboot during the process of uh, updating. If I can get the battery out of this thing because I need to reboot mine. And then there you go, you guys should be able to have root on Olipop 5.1.1 11B. And I do look forward to making more videos with this phone here. There are some things that I want to do with it, which is the dual window for all apps. It will be pretty cool to actually dual a couple applications with this phone, but every time I do it, um, I just keep breaking the phone. It keeps messing up on me. So, you guys got the KDZ and TOT file. And if you do break your phone doing some kind of root method, trying to get all apps, and you break your phone, you can just go ahead and go back to that program, and you can refurbish to restart everything all over again. I've read somewhere that you can just press the upgrade, and it should fix the build prop or something basic. So, I haven't tried that out yet. And I'm not messing with the dual windows until I've actually see somebody get it going. Until then, I will be making videos to you guys' questions. Um, the link's down below. Whatever link you visit, please give them a thumbs up. They actually did a good job of providing this. And I hope I did good with the video. So if you guys got friends with a VS990 V10... Let your friends know that Laser Wolf 452 has finally got that phone. This phone right here is my LG G3. This is the phone I recently paid off. So now I have three cameras. My LG G4, G3, V10. You guys go ahead and subscribe, like my videos, and you guys have a good one. Peace.